Hello, Louis Theroux here, TV journalist, author and professionally anxious person. I recently uh, had a book out, in fact it's called Gotta Get Through This and I have it right here. It's newly out in paperback and uh, as part of the launch I thought it might be amusing to look at some of the reviews and provide reviews of the reviews. Yeah, kind of turning the tables a little bit. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. If you can handle it, the first review, Anto says, I love an author with an X in his name. Two stars. I wanted to be the first to give this book two stars. Well, let me be the first to give you two stars for that somewhat amusing review. L.C. Barry, a pleasure to get through. Good use of the pun. Five stars. Almost embarrassed to write anything for fear Louis will read it. How is that paradoxical? Is that ironic? Is that tautological? Anyway, I am reading it. Just love that you can hear his voice as you read, and it's great to get insight into what went into the career we only know on screen. Perfect. There's no detail, but doesn't matter. I believe you. I believe that you've read it. It's a verified purchase. That's a Maybe I've got to be a hard marker. That's a four-star review. Lily is the next reviewer. I don't like the look of this one. Not for me. Three stars. I had the audible version and I couldn't cope with him doing the accents of people. It may have been different if I'd had a paper copy, but I don't think so. Ouch. Well, I, I've heard from a lot of people that they enjoyed the audible version and they liked me doing the accents. I had the audible version and I couldn't cope with him doing the accents of people. It may have been different if I'd had a paper copy, but I don't think so. Does that help? Maybe I've just made Lily's point for her. I'm going to give that, you know what? That's a four star review because Lily is coming from a real place. I can handle criticism. That's a fair comment. You just didn't like. You just didn't like the accents. Hi, my name's Lily. I didn't enjoy it. I found it insulting. I found it very patronizing. When he does voices and he, it doesn't even sound like anyone real. This review is by Louis Theroux. Sounds familiar. Five stars. The title is I Wrote It. It took a long time to write and I've read it several times. I think it's pretty good. Yes, I, I wrote the book. I wrote that review and um, I remember writing it because I was annoyed that there weren't any reviews on the Amazon site and I thought, well, I'm going to write a review myself. I have to mark myself down because there is a circularity to, 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 the, to, to the idea of reviewing yourself. So I'm going to give myself four stars, an extra star because it's an amusing idea. Judith Sharp, title, Louis Theroux book, just as described and arrived on time, would use this seller again. It seems to me, Judith, you are reviewing the service and not the book. So no disrespect. I would rather have heard about what you thought about, you know, my uh, deft comic vignettes of Chris Eubank and Anne Widdicombe and Neil and Christine Hamilton or my soul-searching account of my uh, programs that I made with uh, or about Jimmy Savile, like that would have been appreciated or just something about the, the, the work I put into structuring the book, the pacey um, content, direct speech, self-contained chapters, all of those I would have so far people haven't said anything about any of that so be it so I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna give you a one-star review for that Judith Ian Laughlin book from UK's number one Mr. Humphreys impersonator okay that's a nice title and it's five stars I've just purchased this book for a friend. Haven't read it myself, but since Louis has always come across as a thoroughly decent chap, and I've always been very fond of his impersonation of Mr. Humphreys from Are You Being Served? I'm free! 
I've decided to award him maximum points. Well done, Louis. Well, thank you for that, Ian. It's a verified purchase. You definitely have bought it. You quite clearly say you haven't read it. So I can really give you only a, a two-star review of your five-star review. Two and a half. I'd give you two and a half if I could, but I round down. Alan Barnes, one star review, don't buy, and it says horrid book. Hard to know what to make of that. There's no evidence that Alan Barnes has read it. It is not a verified purchase. It's a plausible name. I have to say that's a one star for your one star. David Hunt, great book, five stars. Here we go, I'm getting excited about this. Verified purchase, so far, so good. Interesting all the way through. Oh, this is a dream. And didn't tail off halfway like many celebrity books that I've read. Louis tells you about his life story and gives good insight into his various documentary contributors, documentary making, and his own thoughts about himself and life struck many chords with me. Yes! Now, it took a while to get here, but that is where we wanted to be. David Hunt, you nailed it. Your review was perceptive, it was enlightening, it was informative, it was generous, and it was forensic. It was to the point. I found myself gripped all the way through. I found your review unputdownable. I, I do not hesitate to recommend David Hunt's review of Gotta Get Through This. Five stars. I don't know where we can go after that. I really don't. We go onward. We go upward. Is it gonna... Let's get on a roll. Maybe this is where we're gonna be now. This is the zone we're in. It's gonna get better. Can it get better after that? Maybe not. Doctor Who 98. Okay, that could go either way. Doctor Who, I like Doctor Who. Good readings, five stars, verified purchase, present for son. He said he enjoyed it. Yeah, no, that's that Doctor Who 98 is no David Hunt. That's a three star review. Mr. Guy, wow, fantastic book. Never read it, but might one day. Fine, uh, that's a one star review because you haven't read it, uh, it's not that funny, no disrespect. You know, the review didn't work out this time. Keep reviewing, don't get discouraged, have fun. You didn't know your review would be reviewed, so in a way, you can't be blamed for not bringing your A-game to the review. It is what it is. This is a review by someone called Kindle Customer. <laughs> I said it like it was a real name. A great read. This is more like it. I've always enjoyed Louis's unique approach to journalism. How who he is makes for very original and thought-provoking interviews. This book goes that step further, giving a detailed personal insight into Louis's thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and values. An honest and thoroughly entertaining read. Well, that's a good review. Um, it would be nice if it wasn't from someone called Kindle Customer. It sounds like it might be me reviewing it or a Russian bot but that being said it's a verified purchase so a four-star review for you Kindle customer cure for insomnia exclamation mark uh oh this doesn't look good it's by Doc Rev don't get me wrong I love Louie and his TV shows but I mainly listen to this when I can't sleep and within minutes and within minutes I've gone Evidently, it's a review of the audiobook. Oh, look, and they've reviewed, oh my goodness, the different aspects of it. Overall, two stars, performance two stars, story two stars. That's a bad review. It's coming, it's, I think it's a real review, though. We can't, we can't be precious about, someone didn't like, you know, they, they, it's not they didn't like it. Well, it is that they didn't like it. Two stars is not like. Especially figure... It's a self-selecting group. They already are predisposed to like it. That otherwise, they wouldn't have checked it out. And then you are not coming up to those all that already 
fairly low bar. But I have to respect the fact that they, they actually um, came from a real place. I'm going to say that's, that's two stars for that review. That's appropriate. You can have two stars back. Where's Alan gone? Let's go back and read Alan again. Was it Alan? David. David Hunt. Where's David? Interesting all the way through and didn't tail off halfway. Yeah, remember those days? Why aren't there more like that? Stay focused, stay positive. Come on, Louis. Alison Orr. Here we go. It sounds like a real name. And this looks positive, verified purchase. This is an excellent book. Come on, here we go, here we go. This is an excellent book and has many laughs. So I read from the reviews. Oh, you set me up to fail. I was just poised to receive a sincere, incredible compliment and it didn't really arrive. So, uh, I'm sorry, Alison, two stars. Sorry, not sorry. Through the Looking Glass. Make a note of that for second book, possible title. Overall, okay, so this is a review of uh, the audiobook. Overall, five stars, performance five stars, story five stars. Nice. Seb Elliott is the reviewer. Well, this is the last one, okay. Incredibly honest and telling story, delving deeper into his many great documentaries. Very well written and read, especially the accents. Shall I go into an accent now? I think there is a voice over job waiting for you, Louis. I'm just reading what's written down. It said voice over job for you, Lou. I'd love an over job right now, wouldn't you? <laughs> for you, Louis, somewhere out there would definitely recommend this book 100% I love the accents I'm just re freestyling now because I'm enjoying this sincere and wonderful review of my book gotta get through this five stars all the way it's kind of 15 stars if you count them all up can we call it I'm gonna give you 15 stars for that review thank you for saving a nice one the last one. Um, overall, I'm gonna say uh, a mixed bag. I feel like I'm a panelist handing out the Turner Prize. You know, there were some strong entries. Um, I would say there were two or three standouts, but the prize goes to Seb Elliott. Maybe Seb can share it with David. Seb and David are gonna share. We've got to get through this review of reviews prize. So thank you for staying with me for that. Check it out. It is my review, as you heard, is good. So I hope you enjoy it if you check it out. If you can't be bothered to read it, just buy it. And then we're all happy. All right, that's enough. Bye.